Hello, my name's Paul Fiddler and I'm a field sales engineer here at Meraki. Today, we're going to link our umbrella dashboard with our Meraki Systems Manager dashboard. This will allow us to deploy umbrella settings to mobile devices, ensuring that when the devices are not on a corporate network, they're actually protected from all sorts of different threat vectors. So we're actually going to start in the Umbrella dashboard and we're going to link our Meraki dashboard with the Umbrella dashboard. And for this, we're going to need an API key. If you've not already done so, head over to developer.cisco.com forward slash Meraki to find out more about how to generate an API key and then how to use it. So we're going to go ahead and link our MDM. As I mentioned, we need an API key to do this. So I'm just going to paste in one here, press tab and hit link. And now we've linked our dashboards together. What we now need to do is go ahead and actually provision the umbrella settings in the Meraki dashboard. And we can do this for iOS by hitting provision MDM. Now this is going to use the API key and going to highlight all of the different organizations you might be an administrator of. And as you can see, I've got several. So we're going to go ahead and click that. This will now bring us back all of the different networks that we have in that particular organization. And as you can see, we've got several. So I'm actually going to go ahead and click my education one. Now, what we can do here is select the MDM profile that we need to provision. But what if we actually need to create a new one? Well, we're actually going to head over to our Meraki dashboard to create just an empty MDM profile. So now that we're in our Meraki dashboard, we can just go ahead and create a profile. We'll create a device profile and we're going to call this iOS umbrella. We'll scroll down. We will target all of the devices for this particular profile and we will hit save. We can now head back over to the umbrella dashboard. So now that we're back over in the Meraki dashboard, we can go back to networks, we can hit education, and we should be able to see the newly created profile. And there it is, iOS umbrella. And as you can see, it tells us which organization, which network and the profile. We can now hit save. And now we have provisioned our MDM and we have linked the two together. But what about Android? How do we do this? So Android currently is a little different. What we have to do is right at the top here, we can download our Android config file. And as you saw, that's now downloaded. When we open this up in a suitable editor, you can see that this file has only two different values. The first one is the organization ID, and the second one is the registration token. We're going to need both of those as we head over to the Meraki Systems Manager dashboard. So to configure Android is a little different compared to iOS. There's no native capability within the operating system to do this, so we actually need a client. And the client that we're actually going to use is AnyConnect. So we're going to head over to Systems Manager and Applications, and you will see that we have AnyConnect for Android already there. If it's not there, you can go to Add Application, Android, Play Store App, and search for AnyConnect up here, and then add it accordingly. So now that we've deployed AnyConnect to all devices, the second thing that we need to do is to configure AnyConnect for Umbrella. So let's go ahead and create uh, an Android client. Let's type in Android Umbrella. We're going to deploy this to all devices. We'll click on Add Settings, and we need to find Managed App Config, which is just here. We will select Android, we will select any connect, and there are two settings that we need to configure in here. The first is umbrella org ID. So now we're going to head over to our iPad to actually see what this looks like. So we're gonna head over to the Cisco Security Connector application. 
and you can see that we are protected by Umbrella on both IPv4 and IPv6. Now that we know that we've deployed Umbrella to our devices, we can actually go over to deployments, mobile devices, and you should be able to see the devices actually appear in the dashboard here. You'll also be able to see that we have configured the MDM accordingly as well. So to wrap up, this is how we configure both Cisco Umbrella and Cisco Systems Manager to talk to each other, how we push down the applications and the profiles down to the devices, and how we ensure that the devices are actually using Umbrella as well. Thank you very much for joining. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye-bye.